Hey there, this is Jeremiah with Severin Web Studio here for a Tutorial Tuesday on your Squarespace website design. So today's video we're going to be going over how to add an SVG image into the text of your website. So if you're wanting to uh, have an icon next to maybe the telephone, uh, the location, or your hours, and having a little icon next to it that doesn't take up a lot of space and you want to use an SVG, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that here. So uh, this is on Squarespace 7.1 and beyond. And what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and go into Edit. And then what you're going to want to do is actually create a link here. And in the link, you're going to actually go ahead and hit the gear. And you're going to go to File. And then you're going to upload the SVG. So there's a little check mark there, actually. I actually want a little heart to replace that. So I'm searching on the noun project here and just going to grab something simple here. And I'm going to go ahead and say, yep, I want that red. Um, and go ahead and download it as an SVG. Save that. And then go here. upload your file and now what you're going to do is continue there you're going to highlight that and you're going to copy that to your clipboard you can hit apply if you want uh, and then what you're actually going to do is you're going to turn this into uh, a bit of code so we're just going to go ahead and add a uh, code box here and uh, I believe this is already a yes it is paragraph one so we're gonna go ahead now what you're gonna want to do is type out the same thing there so And then you're going to go ahead and insert an image tag. We can scale this too as well. And then if you want to figure out uh, what uh, styling is going on here, uh, what we'll do really quick is we'll just go ahead and leave this here for a second and say save. And then what you're actually going to do is preview it. And then you're going to highlight over this code. And I'm doing this, oh, you have to be tricky with this because Sometimes it'll go into edit mode if you're not cautious. Okay, so highlight over that, right click on it, and then depending on what you're in, uh, inspect element is what it shows on Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I think it's a similar call to action on uh, Chrome as well. And then what you can do is it'll grab that text right there. And so what we can do is we can say that we want this ID that is going on here. Uh,
All right, and there it is. So now you've got your your uh, paragraph here with the class of uh, square RTE large. And then I added the style text align center to get that centered up there. And then um, I could make this a little larger, I suppose. Um, and then you've got your, your verbiage there, and then wherever you want to insert the image, you just add this tag right here. And I will link this little bit of text here as well. Um, so just make sure that this is what you've got included in it. The alt text is not necessary. Um, let's do it like that. The alt text is not necessary, though it does help with SEO, uh, just so that Google knows what this image is about. Uh, and also for screen readers as well, if they are having the screen reader prompt what is on the web page. Uh, so it's always good to fill that out. And you can pretty much apply this to any page uh, using the same little piece of code. Um, and yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you need to know how to do anything else in Squarespace and we'll make a video for you and hopefully up your Squarespace game so that your customers will be enjoying your website and having a clear presence on the internet. All right. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a like below. It really means a lot to me and us, me and my girlfriend putting this channel on. Um, so yes, uh, be sure to like it if this you found this video helpful. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. Every Tuesday we are doing a Squarespace tutorial, so be sure to check back next Tuesday. Uh, and until next time, have a great one.